I, I'm sure birders all over the world will come in their droves for this. Binoculars. <laughs> Tell us something you are. 12 power binoculars which you can just hand hold easily. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I, I expected to be impressed, and, uh, and I was. Uh, it, it, it's not a trick making a, a, a 50 millimeter glass, and it's, it's not a trick making a, a 10 power binocular or 12 power binocular. The trick is um, how do you put the package together? You said that these 12 times were going to be as, as stable and as easy to handle as my, my old pair of 10 times. I didn't believe you. But you're right. Absolutely right. I and mean, it's amazing. There's no shake. Fantastic. <laughs> Swarovski has really set a very high bar for itself here. And, uh, you know, you're bumping right up against the limits of optical physics. Today, I think it's for all of us, it's been a complete and utter um, shock that a binocular that we thought would never uh, grace the necks of a bird watcher again, in fact, will be the binocular of the future. It's always a surprise <laughs> using new Zdarovsky optics. I was using for a long time the 1032. They were, they were my favorite binoculars. When the 1042 Zdarovision appears, I wonder what could be better. And it was much better. And the 50 are even a bit better. The picture is incredible, really incredible. Cuenta, cuenta desde tu altura a que se deben sus miedos. Um, I think, well, we have these now about eight hours around our neck all day, and to be honest with you, they could be a pair of 42s, or they could be a pair of uh, 32s. You know, the, the balance is great, they feel good, they feel good in the hand, up to the eyes quickly, uh, the light gathering is phenomenal. I mean, I remember last night looking through them for the first time in really dark conditions, and it was almost as though it was external lights being sort of put on people. It was quite extraordinary. Quite remarkable. This is amazing. We're now into what about 7:30? What's, what's the time it goes? 7:30. Yeah. 7:30. And I tell you, if that owl was sitting on that rock now, I could see every feather on it almost. It really does extend the birding into another half hour or even further than you'd normally sort of go. Decían que mi guitarra contagiaba la alegría Tenía trastes de oro y un corazón que latía Cerraba junto a mi cuerpo, quererme abrazar solía Gritarme versos profundos y yo se los repetía Con arpegios que brotaban del fondo del alma mía at last, I don't have to push the binoculars hard against my glasses to get a good field of view. And they are so sharp and clear and the light that lets in. And it's just uh, almost like looking through a telescope, but of course much more flexible. Al ritmo de mi guitarra se sanaban afonías, mozas y mozos bailaban. I've been using the 12s all through the trip and I'm amazed that I can use them 
in, in an enclosed area as well as in an open area. The field of view is good enough. I'm really surprised by that. As everyone has been saying, they're easy to handle. The ergonomics are perfect. They're very lightweight. They're fantastic. Early morning, middle of the day, and the evening. I think this is a tremendous achievement by Swarovski. La calle de los amores donde mi amada vivía Mi melódica guitarra, el sonido repetía No quería despertarla Awesome <laughs> binoculars. <laughs> Good. No, it's been great. Great landscape, nice birds, good food. So I really love this one. Extremadura has been extraordinary. I mean, the, the, the birding here is incredible. The landscape is like nothing else I've seen. Um, it's been it's been an incredible trip, and it's been it's been wonderful to have the opportunity to bird with such a uh, such an extraordinary group of, of uh, birders from from Europe and, and the U.S. It's uh, it's been it's going to be very difficult to go home. <laughs>